one of the things we've been focusing on this year as we've walked around the Florida RV Super Show is something that's unique or different. And we found a brand new floor plan in the Keystone Hideout. So we had a chance to talk to Joe, one of their sales representatives, and he gave us a great tour and explanation of that layout and the new features that have. So let's talk to Joe. Hi, I'm Joe French, District Sales Manager with the Hideout Line here at Keystone RV. This is our new 25 BHS floor plan, which is gonna be another spin on the double over double that most people make as their most produced floor plan. So traditionally we've had, last year we called it our 272 BH, single slide double over double. Um, this year we have that floor plan again, upgraded as the 26 BHS, but we've added this floor plan as kind of a complimentary second option to the standard that everybody brings to the market. So. And go and explain double over double for people who don't know that. The bunks here, double beds, right? So you have two bunks here that are big enough for not just a small kid, but really, I mean, if you had to have grown-ups or things like that, you have more options. So this is in the double axle lineup, this is gonna be your kind of most um, mass produced, if you will, uh, single floor plan, right? Meets that young family, right, growing, and they wanna have options for who they can take with them and what they can pack and everything like that. So, so when the kids wanna bring friends for the weekend, yeah. there's extra space for them. It, it all all age levels. Exactly. This is something that you can grow with your family in, right? Like you're not going to be limited as your kids get older. You can keep going camping, keep expanding your options. So some of the cool things about this one, if you do think about the traditional double over double, and again, check out our 26 BHS floor plan. The big difference here is that you're getting a completely private master bedroom, right? And the other options you have sliding doors and things like that, having a full walled off gives a lot more privacy. So the parents can have a little bit of separation from the kids, right? Which we all know you need every Exactly, <laughs> right? Um, one thing that was a huge emphasis for us in 2023 was to try as much as we can to make the um, primary seating area in direct line of sight of the television where that's oh. going to be. Because oftentimes in an RV, you might be you yeah. know, leaning down the hallway or cricking your neck to try to get a viewing angle on the television. The other thing that's different about this floor plan in comparison to the traditional 26 BHS is if you think about that, you're going to have your dinette and your couch in line. So if you have a social setting, you're talking down the camper yep. with somebody turning around. This configuration gives you more options just for having a group of people together conversing collectively. Now, does, do these both convert into other sleeping spaces Yep, this as well? is gonna pull out into a bed and then this is gonna drop down into a second sleeping, or, uh, sleeping area as well. So you really do have a lot of options. You have a lot of options. With, with the parents being like, nope, you guys yeah. have at it, we're going to bed. Over here. They're gonna close the door <laughs> and this is just a fun room for the rest of the night. Um, with options too, this year we added the fold up bunk just to give you some different oh, nice. storage options there. So, you know, I'm in Florida, we have customers that wanna bring surfboards and things like that and you never have a convenient place to put it. You know, even if you bring a small kayak, fishing poles, things like that. Um, just gives you another option there for how you can utilize your storage. Does that fold all the way to the wall? So this is gonna, it just lifts up there okay. um so you know stay. yeah Okay, but that's a cool, good option. Yeah. Just some second options there. Um, one thing too is that uh, when you do have the double over double, you always have the ladder here. So we tried instead of that, it's kind of an eyesore. And then also for the whoever's in the bottom bunk, it's almost this caged feel, right? So we tried to incorporate the ladder, the steps of the ladder into, you know, what becomes your wardrobe over here. So you have this step up to get to the top bunk. It just, I would say, at first glance, it feels a little awkward, but I guess when you're kids and you're nimble, that's... Well, I will tell you that this one was uh, tried and tested with product managers' kids um, jumping all over it, and they actually yeah. really like the whole process of getting up there. Yep. Will it seem the, safer than a ladder maybe for kids yeah. too? Yeah, just not going vertical and getting a little, you know, stretching that way down. when you're going up. Is there is there a handle of some kind? There's not a handle at this point. Obviously, if there's things we can add, we're always open to looking at that. This is a brand new floor plan. Down back. Yeah. This would be a good test of how, <laughs> how coordinated is Jesse. Okay. We tried to work as much. That, the other thing, too, is that um, we tried to make as much efficient use of space for storage as humanly possible. The thing everybody needs more of is storage, right? So even in this step up nature here, we built in additional drawers within the step. And then again, usually when you have this configuration, you do not have a massive wardrobe right there, which is full depth, you know, wow. so you can pack most of your clothes Close. for everybody. I'm assuming we can get there in a second, but I'm assuming there's also a wardrobe in the yeah. master bedroom. So yeah. this would just be for the kids yeah. or coats or- Yeah, secondary overflow for kids. Something. It's just expanding your options there. Okay. Um, in the bathroom, 
So one of the big things at Hideout that you know we take seriously is making sure that in all of our double axles we have a porcelain toilet. Right, um, a lot of our competitors don't, and that's something that if you've camped, if you've camped for a long time, you're definitely going to appreciate more. It's going to, you know, it's going to last longer, but it's also going to clean a lot easier. Yep. Um, Hold up to everything that a little kid will throw at. Exactly, and you'll notice in here the same as the kitchen. You know, this model year, one thing, sorry, just painting over here, is we wanted to match the fixtures everywhere we could tie that look together to give more of a residential feel with the attention to detail, even on the, the uh, shower rod in the bathroom and the towel racks. Yep. Oh, and that's nice that they come built in because yeah. not all of them do. Then you, you're, you're trying to figure out well, where are we going to put everything. Yeah. Here? It seems really wide. So this is a slide, a single yep. slide. Right single here. slide here. And one of the big changes this year as well is we did away with all the carpet. So we have not only a lino extension on the floor, but a flush floor. So one of the benefits of Keystone is that all of our brands, you know, can work together, all being on the same campus. So when we wanted to move to the flush store or the flush floor, something like Montana has been doing for a long time, our engineers can get with them. So we're not just starting from scratch to figure it out. And it just, it makes it look so much bigger too. It's just, it's like a, yeah. a one, one, well, and if you're selling to families, pulling the carpet was probably a good idea. <laughs> it, it is, but to both of your points, it's, it's going to keep cleaner. But when we had open house and dealers that have been long-term partners walked into these trailers with the flush floor and lino, they asked if we somehow figured out how to make it wider, right? It, it makes it pull it the look of it. so much because it's one con continuous Exactly. Flow. Yeah, because always you've got that break. And, and I know we, a uh, friend of ours that had a fifth wheel, there's actually ended up, it wasn't even flush or the carpet, it was a full like step up. Right. Every time you, we kept, you go to the refrigerator, oh, ran into it. And yep. so I love the flush. I think that's a really nice way of doing it. Everything that we can do to open it up, you know, we have 81 inches on interior height, we're the standard 79. I mean, right? you're a tall gentleman, so you, and no, you got plenty of clearance. Yeah, somewhere. so I'm 6'2", and I always tell people like, look, it's not gonna hit my head, but if it was here, this whole trailer would feel a lot smaller, oh, right? Yeah. So things like that, as well as that, there, it just pulls the, the trailer out in every direction. That's why we went with the lighter walls and everything as well. We try to get as many big windows as we can to pull the light, everything to grow the interior space of the camper. Well, we've been noticing lately, because there was a period where a lot of RV manufacturers went dark. Right. Dark wood, cozy, I guess, but white, just or just light colors in general opens things and up. And I think, I think this is a good, I mean, this is a dark color, but it's a good contrasting mm -hmm. color. And again, in a family model, things that, you know, when you spill, you know, red pop and have crayons and popsicles and all that stuff. I mean, I think the gray in the table, that's a good contrasting color but it's not everything it's right so, dark. Yep. so this is the second year of this new look white interior and at the second iteration of it you know with the fixtures and everything else we're able to bake in more of that contrasting color yeah. so it did, just wasn't pulling a lot of white right break it up and to me again that gives much more of a residential feel to it it does and i like being with a nice backsplash mm -hmm. and everything yeah. it really makes it feel homey in here it's a cool feature that kind of gets a little overlooked but this you know when you walk in your house you know you might have that table you put your keys <laughs> on and things yeah, like that so you have this little awesome ledge place. there with some storage again beneath that um a big again uh oh, pantry gosh, storage like here pantry. yeah and you could even put like the little roller baskets or something in there too it's it's funny the things we test out like when we do our <laughs> wardrobes in there when for auditing units that come off the line we take a hanger from home to make sure you can close the wardrobe door without hitting it in making these we wanted to bake it around cereal boxes cereal can box, you put yeah. a full height cereal box in there so all the little practical details that you know our customers are going to end up using that's what we really tried to bake and into that's this. good because i mean many of us yeah we use you know yeah you know especially like the family size cereal boxes or like the tupperware right. containers anything that you're gonna you know gladware or, yeah what is gonna fit I've, I've definitely been in way too many trailers where you're like I can't even get a can of right. green beans in here. Where is this gonna go? But, right. but I really, I really like that. The, you know, the one thing I think. Well, I was going to say, did you solve the shoe problem? And yes. Well, we you did, did here. Yes. Space under here. If you look under there. <laughs> Uh, we tried to create a cavity so that you could put your shoes in there and not have to, you know, put them on a, a base floor or, or a wood yep. ledge. Um, I think that's always the common complaint is they're like, where are we going to stuff the shoes? Everybody's right. got their flip flops and everything everywhere. Yep. And if you had your shoes running all through here, you'd be knocking a bunch of dirt on the ground and stuff. And luckily, we have the only central vacuum 
in the conventional build trailer space. Oh. So every one of our uh, double axle trailers is gonna come with a central vacuum built in with a 30 foot hose. So you're able to hit every nook and cranny. So that's that the obvious nice. the <laughs> obvious features for cleanup. The thing I always remind people, and again, it goes with the story of the storage, right? You always need more storage. One way to get more storage is not have to tie up your storage with more stuff you have to bring from home, right? So not bringing a broom or a vacuum. We have, you know, it's on the outside, but power tongues, power stabilizers, means you're not having to pack an impact drill bring that with you so freeing up your space as well as creating more space yeah that is really nice and i see it's got a little microwave oven mm -hmm. three burner stove yep three stove. burner stove on top the furion uh both of them being furion this year at model year um, we went to the press countertop standard in all of our double axles as well as the stainless steel stainless steel sink a big addition as well as we converted over to full hardwood doors oh. so as, as the cook in the family, I will still argue in almost every trailer, there is still no prep space. So like, where are you going to put the air fryer and the instant right. pot and the coffee pot when you, you know, you're trying to cook something on the stove and, you know, and wash your vegetables and your lettuce at the same time. I said, it's still a little bit of a downfall, but I, you know, you've got table space, I suppose you can work. Well, that's kind of the cool thing about this floor plan too, is it is kind of a second option for the same customer. Our traditional 272, now a 26 BHS is going to have a longer countertop space, right? But you have the di different configuration. So if you're looking at the two, one way you could look at it is if we think that we're going to be doing big Thanksgiving dinners, maybe that's the right floor plan. If we think that it's going to be a more social environment, right. this might be the same one for a similar towing capacity, length and sleeping arrangement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So good to have, good to have options. Yep. And, and for many people, I mean, you know, there are those of us who are more living full time mm -hmm. in it, but we also know your your key market is your weekenders, your, you know, week yeah, to two right, weeks yeah. camping at a state park a year, right? Exactly. You're you're most likely going to be doing a lot of your cooking outside, probably, you know, hot dogs around the fire, pudgy pies, you know, maybe on your, you know, everybody's got a Blackstone grill now, right? right? right so, right. so this isn't probably a huge deal to many people, but... Uh, you know, I look at it as, you know, we're cook living full time sure. in ours and I, I need a place to put the coffee pot and the air fryer and the induction, you know, and all, all of the amenity, you know, the, the stuff at home. Right. Um, but, you know, we've also agreed having a big sink is great because you can actually put your dishes. They fit. Right. <laughs> we've seen far too many sinks. They were like, I can't even put a plate in here. Yep, everything so, in an RV is a trade off. You know, is, if you want space in this direction, you got to take it from over there. So, um, yep. Yeah. What's under here? Is this just, is well, that storage? Or is yeah, that it's storage, but just again to draw attention is that we got, uh, everything was attention to detail. So how many times have you opened up the storage under a sink and you got the PVC piping or something right obstructing <laughs> what you can put in there? So <gasps> it's a huge attention Good to job. clean open storage just Wait. to expand your options. I don't know how many times we have complained about that. I have opened up so many cupboards and trailers and gone, what were they thinking? Right. <laughs> you have to like put, put a cereal in. box in there is the only thing that'll fit, right? Because you, you got all the plumbing. You can't in there. You can't do anything. Oh, you guys did a great job on that. I'm, you can fit a lot in that, actually. Yeah. I mean, obviously, the first thing you want to be able to put in there is maybe a trash can of trash some can. sort. And, and a lot of them, that's the first thing that won't fit, right? Just because of its size. So that was the first thought, but additional storage for anything you need. Yeah, in your there. cleaning supplies, you, you know, like I said, the coffee pot could fit down Well, in your, your air fryer. Room. Now the it's got a home. And it's got a home. Yeah. Oh, for sure. One thing that's cool too, if you are full timing, is last year at 2022, all of Keystone's campus went standard with solar. Installed panels on every single trailer that we built and all of your pre-wired for all of your future expansion that you could want. This year on campus, every one of our trailers went to the Gerard tankless hot water heater. So no more five minute showers, right? Now you can get in there and actually enjoy your time. And the testing that we've done as far as how much propane it pulls is minimal. Right, so it's it's really going to be minimally taxing on your propane. It just opens up your options for more comfortable living. Yep. Check out the parents' hideaway. Right. Oh, walk around bed. I'll let you run in there. So walk around bed. Um, again, both of those wardrobes are going to be the full depth for a hanger. Oh, yeah, because the bar is far enough back. Yeah, the big thing is when you close the door, does it hit the hanger? The hanger yep. Right, because, you know, if you think about it, if you uh, close the door and it hits the hanger, knocking it on an angle, that means when you get to your campground, your clothes are going to be on the floor, right? So this, this was trying to give it more functional use and not just a sales pitch use. Yeah, and I think that, again, even with that angled wall, you've definitely got plenty of space right. and, and deep enough that you could put a basket or something under there. well you don't need to because over here we have the laundry chute so when you're passed through storage you could put a basket 
and then pull that up, drop your dirty clothes in there so oh. you're not having to put your dirty clothes with your clean clothes. Gotcha. I just found that, yeah. I, was thinking, I guess I was thinking basket and like other stuff, sure, like you know, sure. your shoes, socks, yeah. hats, you know, the accessories. But... And you have storage up there as well. You're gonna have uh, 110 outlets on both sides in case, you know, potentially you need an alarm clock, your phone, CPAP like your phone machine. Yep. Exactly. Oh yeah, CPAP, I've seen a lot more of that lately. Yeah. Um, underneath the bed too is we have, sorry, we added bed struts this year. And one thing I always like to point out is we seal off the under bed storage from the pass through, which to me is very important. You know, you have the energy efficiency, you have potential bugs, but the other thing is baggage stores are generally a universal key. So if this is something you're leaving by the lake every weekend, it'd be nice if you're the only one that can get into it, right? So it's the 25 BHS is 25 model, BHS. right? Is it 25 feet? Is that the... 25 feet is gonna be the length of the box. So all of our numbers this year, we tried to be very conscious of as close as we could to have the number on the outside be the length of the box, plus four, about three and a half, four feet for the tongue. So that is your living space then is yours. So this is about 20, 29 feet yep. when you're towing. And then what, in terms of weight, are we towing it with? Uh, well, this is comes in at uh, right about 6,800 pounds. So, you know, your standard F-150, obviously, you know, if you want to get a half ton truck, you're going to be able to pull it with these up the mountains as well. Um, but this really, again, we tried to have more competitive options for the families that don't have an F-250 or an F-350, right? People that have a normal working life and just want to get away for the weekend. And so there is solar, so what's the other stuff? Solar on the top, it looks like. Right, so every Keystone hideout trailer is gonna ship with the same package. It's, we call it the uh, Solar Flex 200 package. So it's gonna come with a 200 watt panel on the roof. Um, it's already pre-wired. Uh, if you wanna add a second panel, it's literally just plugging it in up there. Um, it's gonna have a 15 amp charge controller in the pass-through, right, to throttle the energy going to your battery to keep it safe and make sure it's the right energy. Um, as well as all the pre-wiring's been done if you wanna add an inverter to it. So if you wanna use the plugs inside when you're off the grid, um, the pre-wiring historically would have been, you know, 80% of the cost, right? Like the reason solar was so expensive five years ago is because you had to deconstruct an RV to run some wires and then rebuild it. Well, all the pre-wiring's done now, so down the road, if you want to add more features, right, we've cut out mo the majority of the cost for you there. But a few things we added this year, the oversized grab handle became standard on every floor plan, just a little more comfortable and easier for everybody. Um, always going to have the window on the door as well as tinted windows. And then in here, you can see, I heard you mention the you Blackstone, you is all of our, double, most of our double axles now are gonna come with um, the side mount griddle on there. Okay. Um, it's something that we just wanted to add uh, so that everybody had that additional, yeah, so it's gonna, it's Got gonna it. clip right onto the railing over here. Nice. And then you do have outside fridge and additional storage space here, just to give you some more options. Um, on the back, kind of jumping around, but on the back, the new Lippert ladder is what we have standard. So if customers want to buy the ladder that just pulls onto that, it's just similar to the telescoping ladders you may have at home. So now it just clips in there to give you access to the roof and all of our roofs are fully walkable. Speaking of Lippert, I noticed the stairs. Is that- The is, Lippert solid step. Is that standard? Yeah. Okay, those are really nice. Yep. What are we looking at in terms of price point? And where this is in kind of the line or so this is going to be in line with you know our traditional 272 26 bhs um, the specific retail price point obviously is going to vary a little bit by dealer um, but most of them are going to be targeting that mid lower 30s price point try to make it affordable for as many of our uh, growing families out there as we can you guys ready to buy it <laughs> <laughs> no but it's one we could recommend to a, to a small family yeah. i mean I, especially I, like you said a growing family right so yeah i think it's got a lot of good options a good layout plan i i do love that entertainment mm -hmm. space uh you know whether you're playing board games wa family t watching a movie yeah i would just say it's you know kind of unique in that like you said a growing family where you start with little kids mm -hmm. um but then as they get older if they want to bring more kids with them uh and the parents can still get away is yeah. you and know it, and even the teenagers i think no I, there's not a curtain covering that bunk area right there's not a curtain obviously that's something that um anybody could add if they wanted, if they to, wanted to there just thinking yeah. it's, even thinking i'm thinking more in the teenage space where you're like okay they want to you know they stayed up late they want to sleep parents right. get up in the morning want to make coffee give them a little privacy sure. but so there's there's always options trade-offs options but it is it works for a growing family we did make sure in the bunks to make sure both levels are going to have um, a light and a charger, right? Everybody needs to charge their yes. iPad or their iPhone or do some reading, hopefully, with the light, right, if that still happens. So trying to think of as many things as we can. Um, 
you know, just to give the privacy again. So it's flexible in terms of the size of your family growing and whatnot, but also, you know, we think we've created some flexible storage options so you can go on different adventures with your family as well. So I think the most pressing question, is it called the hideout because it has a place for the parents to hide? <laughs> yes, the whole thing <laughs> has been built around this floor plan. <laughs>